the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to all of the amazing mothers out there. Today is your day, and let me tell you, we are going to be seeing some beautiful conditions, so definitely keep it here. We'll have a check of that Mother's Day forecast coming up. Well, coming up this Sunday morning on DC News Now, back-to-back -back bodies found. Two separate death investigations are ongoing, both in Fairfax County, where police know at this hour after finding two dead people less than 24 hours apart. And to the parents and families in the class of 23, 2023, congratulations. Plus a presidential congratulations, Joe Biden gives the commencement speech at Howard University's graduation ceremony. We break down his top talking points from the night. And later, Mother Knows Best local high school share their wise words their mothers have passed down to them. And taking a live look outside this Mother's Day morning, it's much drier out there th than it was yesterday. And we're still expecting some clouds, though. So let's bring in weather forecaster Brittany Ward. Now, good morning, Brittany. How are you? I'm doing good, Yamari. How are you doing today? I'm good. So what can we expect today? I hope it's going to be pretty warm. Yeah, you know, if you're taking your mom out later on, maybe after the show or later on tonight, it's going to be a beautiful day. Mother Nature was like, hey, it's Mother's Day. It's her day. So I'm going to bless all the moms with some very nice conditions out there. We are dealing with some fog, though, as you head further off to the west. So along that I-81 corridor, visibility right now in Martinsburg is at zero. And then you head to Winchester, Woodstock. It's only at one mile. So taking the moms along that I-81 corridor, if you're driving, just be careful. Now, because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a dense fog advisory until about 9 a.m today and that's because we'll start to see those winds begin to pick up and that will help the fog dissipate. Satellite and radar showing you we had some passing clouds there off to the north and west, but mostly clear conditions here in the nation's capital and overall that mixture of sun and clouds across the entire DMV will be the trend today. 63 currently in DC, 58 as you head over there to Hagerstown, 57 there in Cumberland, 52 in Martinsburg and highs today will again be on the warmer side. We're back in the 70s. So definitely keep it here, Yamari. Marie. We got seven or we got rain chances to talk about in that seven day forecast. Well, thank you, Brittany. New this morning, Fairfax County police are investigating the death of a person found on Mint Place in Alexandria. Police tweeted about this just before midnight, and this comes less than 24 hours after another body was found in the county. Now, that one was found behind a business on Glen Carroll and Drive in Falls Church, and no further details are available at this time on either investigation. And developing now, the Marine veteran who placed Jordan Neely in a chokehold on the New York subway has now been charged with manslaughter. And this comes nearly two weeks after Neely's death. And Q. Rand Dillon from our sister station has the latest on the case. Saturday morning, Reverend Al Sharpton spoke out on the death of Jordan Neely, calling the charges in the case just one step towards justice. We gonna get justice for Jordan in New York City. Nearly two weeks after Neely's death, U.S. Marine Corps veteran Daniel Penny turned himself in yesterday. He now faces a second-degree manslaughter charge for putting Neely in a fatal chokehold. Dealing with the situation, like I said, with the sort of integrity and honor uh, that is characteristic of who he is, characteristic of his honorable service in the United States Marine Corps, uh, and you know he has his head, head uh, held up high. Penny is now out on a hundred thousand dollar bond. His lawyers say he was acting in self-defense when he pinned Neely, a homeless man who friends and family say was dealing with mental health issues, to the floor of a subway car. Two other passengers also held Neely in a chokehold. Because someone has either mental illness or houselessness or has a history of arrest does not make them dispensable. It does not mean that their life has no value. Neely's family says regardless of how disturbing he may have been acting, what happened is not justified. They want the charges upgraded to murder. We need to be mindful of why we feel fear and who we're projecting our fear on and what, what steps we take to remedy ourselves of fear. And it can't be that we kill our fellow civilians to remedy our, our fear because fear is subjective. Reverend Sharpton says the other two people in the video should also be held accountable. We cannot have vigilantism become legal in New York. If this case does not go all the way 
we are legalizing anybody anywhere standing up and doing whatever they want to do. He also wants to know why Penny was initially let go. The fact that they released him needs to be investigated. Who made the call and why was the call made and why did it take over a week to arrest this man? A spokesperson for the NYPD watchdog known as the Civilian Complaint Review Board says the group is now looking into whether officers broke protocol by releasing Penny. Meantime, Neely's funeral is on Friday. Reporting from Harlem, Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News. Well, in Prince George's County, Maryland State Police say a man is under arrest in connection to a kidnapping. He was arrested after a felony traffic stop in Lanham on Friday. And state police say 62-year-old Dennis Bell was driving a U-Haul truck. Other drivers called police to report Bell driving erratically and hitting parked cars. Now, the police pursued Bell, which ended when the truck went into a ditch. When troopers went to arrest him, they found a naked woman with injuries on her hand in the front seat. And police say Bell was at a convenience store in Southeast when he pushed the victim into the truck and threatened her. The victim claims he removed her clothing and used a pocket knife to stab her fingers. And Bell is facing 14 charges, including assault, kidnapping, a fourth degree sex offense and driving while impaired. We're staying in Prince George's County where officials are helping people protect their catalytic converters. Now this follows an increase in thefts and DC News Now Toast and Fikile shows us what they're doing to help. The event was held at a body shop in Beltsville and it was free, but only for people who lived in PG County and it was to help keep catalytic converters where they're supposed to be underneath a car. Now the no cost event happened at Miller Automotive Services. It was by appointment only and people had to sign up with the auto repair business. People were able to get their catalytic converter registered. They were given stickers with QR codes to get that registered. Now catalytic converter thefts have been on the rise around the DMV, causing insurance claims to jump. The shop tells DC News Now about 30 people registered for Saturday's event. We're talking about thousands, tens of thousands yeah. of dollars worth of theft. Yeah. They want to go into apartment building complexes. They want to go into commercial businesses yeah. where the vehicles are parked overnight yeah. so they can hit 10, 20, 30 vehicles at a time. Okay. It will help to prevent the theft in the first place. Yeah. If they see it's been marked, then it's going to be harder for them to take it or sell it later. That event went on from 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. I'm Tosin Fakile for DC News Now. Back to you. Now we have a consumer alert this morning. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is demanding 67 million cars be recalled due to airbag, infl airbag inflators. And the safety agency says they pose a risk of injury and even death. Several automakers are impacted, including General Motors, Hyundai, Kia, and BMW. And General Motors has already agreed to recall nearly 1 million vehicles. And Joe's is recalling improperly labeled packages of hummus dip in Virginia and 13 other states. And the manufacturer says the package is actually containing a pesto sauce. And this means the dips have improper nutrition and ingredients labels which could lead to severe allergic reactions if people with allergies accidentally eat them, especially people with walnut and milk allergies. These packages have a use by date of May 27th. And you can go online to find out how to return your containers. Well, it's graduation weekend for many colleges and universities in the district. And yesterday, Howard University held its ceremony at the Capital One Arena with a special guest, President Joe Biden. DC News Now, David Laval takes a look at his message. President Joe Biden received an honorary degree from Howard University Saturday as he delivered the commencement address. He also brought a message from one of the university's most notable graduates. Kamala sends her love and she sent a clear message that today I have the privilege, she points out, of speaking at the real HU. <laughs> The president is the seventh sitting U.S. president to deliver the university's commencement address. We can finally resolve those ongoing questions about who we are as a nation that put strength of our diversity at the center of American life, a future that celebrates and learns from history, a future for all Americans, a future I see you leading, and I'm not, again, exaggerating. 
the weather forced the graduation ceremony to be moved to the Capital One Arena from campus. But that change could not put a damper on the impact of Howard University and the other historically black colleges and universities. HPU helped produce 40 percent of black engineers, 50 percent of black lawyers. Seventy percent of black doctors and dentists. Eighty percent of black judges. Class of 2023, you're the reason I'm so optimistic about the future. And I keep my word, I really mean it. You're part of the most gifted, tolerant, talented, best educated generation in American history. That's a fact. Dave Laval, DC News Now. Well, the president also spent some time touching on other issues as he prepares to run for re-election in 2024. He says he's standing by his student debt relief plan despite lawsuits against it. To reduce your student debt service payments when you graduate, we're also ensuring that no one, no one with an undergraduate loan today or in the future will have to pay more than 5% of discretionary income to repay their loans down from 10, and 20 years is gone. Republican officials are fighting that as well. But I'll always keep fighting for you. Student loan payments are expected to resume this summer. All right, your time now, 8:10, and heading out the door. It is overall going to be shaping a beautiful day for Mother's Day. Take a look at your breakfast forecast. By that 9 o'clock hour, temperatures already in the lower 60s, upper 60s by 10, and then we're still holding on to the upper 60s as we head into that 11 o'clock hour, but overall a mixture of sun and clouds. That will be the trend as we head through your Mother's Day today, and even for Monday, it's not until Tuesday is when we see those chances for showers back in the forecast, so definitely keep it here. We'll talk more about that after the break.